one of the faculty surgeons in the Department of Surgery at Adassa and Karim. Um, my specialty is uh, laparoscopic surgery or actually minimally invasive surgery. I knew I wanted to be a physician from about uh, when I was 14. I was uh, in South America in a, an American school and uh, we learned anatomy over there and um, since then I knew that was my uh, goal, to be a physician, to be a surgeon actually. And um, I had my goal and I, uh, that's what I'm doing. In the OR it's, uh, it's a large team. Actually all the team is there for only one person, it's the patient. Without this teamwork, nothing works. We at Hadassah did the first uh, single trocar called hystectomy. That means uh, uh, an operation taking out the gallbladder through only one incision. And um, it's the first in Israel. It's, uh, it's only one uh, of a few centers in the world that do this surgery. Minimal invasive surgery began at the late uh, 1980s. And um, it was actually a, a huge revolution in surgery. We transferred from uh, traditional open operations uh, where we had incisions of the abdomen ranging from 10 centimeters to 30 centimeters. We are now operating in three to five millimeter incisions. So the big impact was on the patient post-operative period. Instead of having to deal with a large incision and a lot of pain after surgery, uh, there is very minimal pain after this, these kind of surgeries. So everything is shifting towards more and more minimally invasive. And uh, we now can do very large operations through very small incisions. We have the cosmetic results that are much, much better. Basically, the recovery period is much smoother. The patients go home earlier. The patients are very mobile after the surgery. There, there are operations that actually four hours after surgery, the patients will go home. I've been practicing uh, single trocar surgery and uh, NOPES, that means natural orifice surgery, for the past three years. And uh, natural orifice surgery is, uh, is probably the next revolution in surgery. So basically the patient is going into surgery and out of surgery without any abdominal incision. Every technique or technology or every advancement that we have here, this knowledge is going over all over the world. It's not just one surgeon to one patient, but it's one device to a million of patients. I consider myself as an innovator. This is an innovator dream. You know, you do something and it works and it has impact on patients. That's what everybody wants to do, actually. You want that any innovator. He wants to invent and he wants their invention to, uh, to become good for humankind. So that's what we do.